What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about never tell her this. Let's get into it. Never tell her this. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something very specific, something that you never want to tell a woman. You never want to disclose this information to a woman that you are seeing. I don't care how long you've been with her, if you just met her, if you've been dating for X amount of time, it does not matter. The length of time does not matter. I don't care how close you are to this woman, what kind of connection you have, what kind of things you've spoken about before does not matter throw all that shit out the window bro when it comes to this one thing you never want to disclose this information i don't care how experienced you are or how inexperienced you are never disclose this information to the woman you are currently seeing it will backfire i promise you bro there's no right answer in this situation the one thing you never want to disclose to a woman is how many women you have been with. I don't care if the number is super high, right? You've slept with X amount of women, over 100 women, 200 women, or if the number is very low, only one girl, two girls, three girls, four girls, five girls, you feel me? If you tell her that your number is very low, this woman that you're currently seeing is going to see you in such a light that she's not going to think that you have a certain level of value that other women want you that you're very highly sought after you feel me if your number is very low she's gonna think you're very inexperienced you haven't been with many women and on the opposite side of that if your number is very high she may be turned off right you being super overt in disclosing this information is what turns her off whether the number be high or low bro you want to keep that shit a mystery it's a guessing game bro you're keeping your cards close to your chest you're not disclosing this information that is very attractive to women what you want to do instead in this situation is to sub communicate to women that you are very experienced that number is irrelevant. The number does not matter. It's how you carry yourself, how confident you are, the women that are attracted to you. You can attract multiple different women. You feel me? It's by the way you talk, by the way you walk, the things you wear, you feel me? The things you say, your carefree spirit, you going after your mission, you going after your purpose, you leveling up in each and every aspect. When you're on that date with that girl, you're handling business, bro, right? You're taking care of logistics. You're planning the definite date, right? The day, place, and time. All that shit is taken care of, bro. After that, you know exactly what to do, where to go. You feel me? You know how to lead the date properly. You know how to end the date properly. You know how to close the date. You feel me? You've done this plenty of times before. You know how to treat women, bro. You know how to escalate things properly, how to get what you want. If she says no, how to handle rejection. These are things that you know how to handle because you've been in this position multiple different times. And she knows that not by you telling her, but by the way you carry yourself, by the things you do, the little details, you feel me? That's what you want to do instead. And if she ever asks you, bro, how many women have you been with? You find a clever way to respond to that. There are so many different things you could say in that situation, but the number one thing you never want to say is the actual number or that you are very experienced or very inexperienced. Never give it away, bro. Allow her to read between the lines. That is the most important thing that you can fucking do, bro. I'm telling you right now, the quickest way to turn off a woman is to tell a woman the exact number. How experienced you are, how inexperienced you are, that you're a virgin, right? That you're a sex addict. Never tell a woman the truth, bro. I'm telling you right now, it's the quickest way to turn her off. And now a lot of you guys are gonna be like, bro, you know, I've been talking to this girl for X amount of time. We're so close. We talk about everything. I reveal all my feelings, all my cards, and she's still attracted to me, bro. Bro, it's a ticking time bomb. Give it time and I promise you, over time she will lose attraction for you being an open book is not attractive to women you want to be a mystery hold your cards close to your chest that is the best thing to fucking do escalate things little by little give her little breadcrumbs here and there you feel me 
You don't want to give her all this information all at once. And the best way to go about things, bro, the best way to go about giving her this info is by allowing her to read between the lines, being mysterious, holding back on this information, holding your cards close to your chest, and sub-communicating this information, bro. By the way you go about business, by the way you carry yourself, bro, I can't say that enough. I'm telling you right now, bro, that's the best way to go about things, dude. You giving all this information for free without making her work for it, bro. I'm telling you, bro, that's not what women want. Women want to work for your attention, your validation, your resources, right? The information that you have, the knowledge that you have, all these different things. Make the women work for that shit, bro. Don't make it easy for them, bro. Don't be sold on this women off rip. Make them work for everything, you're a high value guy. You've been putting in the work, bro. You've been watching my content, other content creators on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever the case may fucking be, bro. You're putting in the work, leveling up in each and every aspect. So now you're up here. This is the power dynamic, right? You're up here. She's down here. You make her work for you. You feel me? That should be the power dynamic. And you have to have that belief in yourself. You have to have that internal confidence. The security in who you are as an individual. And you only develop that by putting in the work on a daily basis. Delaying gratification. Sacrificing now. Putting your head down. And getting to work, bro. That's the best way to go about things. And by doing that, you're going to communicate and sub-communicate to women and to men that you're that fucking guy. You get shit done. And as a byproduct, you attract all these different opportunities into your life. And that's where women can read into that shit. And they can be like, oh shit, yeah, he's that guy. He's definitely sleeping with a lot of women. I like that he's a player. But he chooses me over all these different women. And you're not saying shit. You're not telling her anything. But she's assuming that you're like this based off how you handle business. How you go about your life. You're on your mission. You're on your purpose. You're getting shit done, bro. That's the most important thing. You feel me? So to bring things full circle, never tell a woman how many women you've been with, how inexperienced you are, or how experienced you are. It does not fucking matter. There's no correct answer. What you want to do instead is withhold this information, right? Keep your cards close to your chest. Be mysterious. Make her work for it. Sub communicate to her by how you handle business, how you go about your life. You being mission focused, purpose driven, right? By the way you carry yourself, by the way you talk, by the way you handle dates, how you handle rejection, how you lead the dates, how you close the dates, all this different shit sub communicates to women that you're that fucking guy. You get shit done. Other women want you, right? You're highly sought after. You're not an open book. All these different things are very attractive to women, bro. And you have to understand that being an open book is not attractive to women. Being closed, reserved, quiet, making her work for this information is much more attractive, bro. I promise you that. So never disclose this information, bro. That's the number one thing you can never fucking do. I don't care who she is, how connected you guys are, right? How long you guys have been dating for does not fucking matter, bro. That shit is irrelevant. Throw that shit out the window, bro. Keep this shit to yourself. Allow her to guess. Allow her to assume that you're a certain kind of guy. That's the best way to go about things, bro. Because once that mystery is gone, once that anticipation is gone, she's out of there, bro. If she assumes that you're this kind of guy, but you're not that kind of guy, right? And she pops that bubble. It's gone. None of this is a facade. You're not faking anything. You're simply allowing women to assume that you're this kind of guy or that kind of guy, right? You're leading her in that direction by the way you handle business, by the way you take care of yourself, by the way you lead dates, all these different things, X, Y, and Z, all the different things I'll be talking about, bro. That's how you sub-communicate to women that you're a certain kind of guy, right? Because if you're not this guy, trust me, you will self-communicate that to her very easily, bro. If you're a nerd, if you're a geek, you're not able to attract different women, trust me. She will be able to read your vibe, your energy, how you handle yourself, how you carry yourself, how you talk, how you dress, all these different things. She'll know, yeah, this guy does not get girls, bro. He does not get any girls. I'm the only girl he's been on a date with. She's easily able to read that by the way you go on this day, how you handle the day, how you communicate with her, how you communicate with other people, how you dress, how you speak, all these different things, bro. So you have to take note. You have to improve. Focus on yourself. Level up. 
up, level up, level up. Focus on your self improvement, your personal development, and never fucking stop, bro. Keep fucking working. So, men, take note. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. As always, follow me on TikTok, High Value Essentials, on Instagram, High Value Essentials, on Patreon, High Value Essentials, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.